Raba bela na bas kabrate babula taba na bas kabrate balataya. We manta bas sabrate babela to babula tabaya. Eka babela na babana bas kabrate babana to la babana bas kabrate babana to babua. Ebete kabatu ambala da babana bas kabrate babula tababua tabaya. Ebete bakwanda babula tababara to la tababua. Eskabete bala to da babana bas kabrate. Inasu nzama kamauka nzama kamauka nzama kamauka inasu inasu nzama kamauka nzama kamauka nzama kamauka kuda dunia kuda dunia saki inasu nzama kamauka Dunia, Koda, Dunia, Takini, Naso, Zama, Kamauka, Ah, Domai, Domai, Kaine, Allah, Kaine, Allah, Name, Rais, Naso, Zama, Kamauka. Kaini Allah na kaini Allah na kaini Allah na me wai Yesu ina so nzama kama uka ina so ina so nzama kama uka nzama kama uka nzama kama uka. Inasu, inasu, zamaka mauka, zamaka mauka, zamaka mauka. Kuda dunia, kuda dunia, taki ni inasu, zamaka mauka. Ah. Kaine Allah na, Kaine Allah na me wai Yesu. Ina so nzamaka malka. Kaine Allah na, Kaine Allah na me wai Yesu. Ina so nzamaka malka. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you take your seat briefly? I'll just bring a perspective within maybe 10 minutes that we pray. But at least give me your ears. Um, I want to appreciate my friends. I think I've, I've met you. I've met in the place of prayer. This is your brother. Yes, thank you, sir. I appreciate everyone. I think I've been here before. Uh, Now, your life will not bear relevance. Your life will not bear impact upon the face of the earth if you have not loved Jesus beyond yourself. No matter how good intention are, no matter how much you are zealous for the things of God, if your life doesn't have a testimony that you have loved God beyond yourself and you are willing to lay down your life for the cause, not just only for the gospel, but for the view of what God has destined and promised unto you. Jesus Christ is a personality that the day you encounter him begin to make promise to you that are, are for the privilege of you willing to die for. If you see men and women that know God, they live as though they are dying people simply because of the promises that God has apportioned unto them, simply because of the heritage and the inheritance that he has encompasses within himself and he has put inside of them. So there will be this cry of destiny, this cry of eternity in view. There will be this cry of the fulfillment of purpose inside of you that is something that your environment cannot shut down. 
What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that far beyond you just being given birth to, there is a predestination, there is a preordination, there is a reason why you are born. There is a reason why among the numbers of people that are dying in thousands, you do not fall into the road. Not because you are too powerful, but just simply because there is a promise of God upon you that is time-based. It's dependent upon the time for it to be fulfilled. That God cannot allow that to be truncated as long as you actually keep calling upon His name. And that's what you must understand in time to realize that according to the design of God, you have something to fulfill upon the face of the earth. Sometimes you may be called and demanded to fulfill a vision. Sometimes you may be called to attach yourself as part of the army of Gideon that can be able to salvage the nation. Another time you can be just be called and be given birth to, to, to stay until the time that Jesus Christ will be born so that you can become part of his apostles. Sometimes you can just be born like John the Baptist only to prepare the way for Jesus Christ to come. Other people can just be born and they are living their life like prostitutes, like unto Rahab, but only for her to understand that there's a time that's going to come that some spy are going to come that is going to help them to salvage them. Another person can be born like that small child that took five, is it how many fishes and some loaves? Is it three fishes and two loaves? He took it to a crusade ground so that Jesus Christ can multiply it. The purpose why you are born is actually something very small but very paramount to the build up of the entire life of believers. What am I saying? You see, you can live your life having 10 cars, 100 houses, whatever. It's good. These things are good. But they don't have spiritual relevance. The only thing that is reckoned in heaven are the things that you do for the kingdom. It's only the thing that you do that bear relevance within the court of God. As such, today we come to celebrate grace. We come to celebrate a friend and a brother. But nonetheless, I just want to briefly just say something from Ephesians 1 that we pray. Ephesians 1 from 3. The Bible says, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to to the good pleasure of his will. Paul began to let us understand that before the foundation of the earth, God has predestined us and designed us to remain in him holy. And prior before that, he has also apportioned a, a blessing. He called it spiritual blessings, but in every place is inside of Christ Jesus. And if God has blessed you with the blessings inside of Christ Jesus, in heavenly places for you to lay hold of those blessings you must take a journey into the spiritual realm for you to be able to access it he said that god has blessed us with all spiritual blessings but in heavenly places of Christ Jesus. so if you must lay hold of those spiritual blessings that's why you must take a journey into the place where those blessings lies and how do you join into the spiritual places in christ jesus i think it brought us a little bit of perspective by taking us to the book of acts there's no time for me to explain most of this, but okay, let's look at Luke 24 49. I'll just read it then we'll read it and we'll pray. I first of all start by saying that God has blessed us with spiritual blessings, but in heavenly places inside of Christ. That's everything that is a portion for you to fulfill life and destiny is locked up inside of Christ, and the Bible called it spiritual blessings okay so but these blessings are hidden inside in a place in this heavenlies so for you to lay hold of them you must join it into those places in christ jesus i understand what i'm saying now hope i'm not lost hope you are getting me small small luke 24 49 bible says and behold i send the promise of my father upon you they but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. You see, I told you that there's a blessing that God has apportioned unto us. What does that mean? If I tell you that my fa- your father, before he died, promised something, he gave me something to keep for you. That's already a promise. Is that not true? You know something now? So the thing that God has apportioned for us, he has promised it, but he has locked it inside of the and he has kept it in heavenly places. So now, Jesus Christ, when he was about to go, this is the last book of Luke. When Jesus Christ finished healing the sea, the raising the dead, doing everything, he now said that, I know I'm about to go, but I want you to tarry in the city of Jerusalem, where I began this, until you have been enjoying power from on high, so that the power can be able to take you through a journey, to that place where God has blessed you and locked it upon. 
He said, but you should tarry until you've been in due power. So your tarrying will bring the power so that the power can become a vehicle through which you join it and be able to combat against the system of darkness. I get what I'm saying now. So it's not enough that you've been given a blessing and you will know where the promise is. You also need to be in due with more power. Then from the power that you begin to join. Is that okay? Okay, let's go to Act as we round up. Act chapter 1. In Avaratuske Baruda Labanasco Bruto Babola Tabanabasco Bruto Bacasca Theatre. Rababela Lababasco. I spare you the, the too much of the reading. Okay, let the Bible say the former three ties have I made all cheerfulness of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach. Okay, he's trying to still confirm what was you know, it was Luke that wrote the book of Acts, he was the one that said in Luke, he's still saying it in Acts that cheerfulness. I'm writing to you about what Jesus Christ did and he preached. But while he was about to go, he said, Until the day upon which he was taken up through the Holy Ghost and has given unto us commandment as his apostles. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining of the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said he, Ye heard of me. Say, For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days from now. What was the promise that the Father gave? It was the promise of the Holy Spirit coming upon them. And because he said that as long as that Spirit can come upon them, it's going to take them into everything that is approaching in Christ Jesus. John was the one that was saying that, he said, when I go, he'll come. When this will occur, he's going to guide you into all truth. And the Bible said that he's going to take the things which are of my own and he will give it unto you. That's it, that the promises that God has put upon us, the blessings that God has apportioned unto us, that you are not in Christ Jesus, it is impossible for Christ to take it and give it to you until by the vehicle of the Holy Spirit, it will not be a career mode that you take it and bring it unto you. And that's why a man that has the Holy Spirit, you can never conclude over his life. He can be in prison today, he's out tomorrow. He can be in the dungeon as Joseph. Tomorrow he become the prime minister. What am I saying? Your life is interesting, it's good the day you believe that God is God of all creation. It's good. But it will become more interesting the day that you believe that Jesus Christ is his son and he dwells inside of you. It will become more palatable the day you understand that it's a spirit that do business with Jesus Christ has left the earth. I get what I'm saying now. So can we be on our feet and we pray according to Acts 10, 10, 38. I want your heart to be open. Pray up before now. It is true that we come to celebrate and you know it's apostles birthday but you know some days are are days where heavens are open at 10 30 the bible say how god anointed jesus christ of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all of them that were oppressed of the devil because god was with him. You see how God it was a thing that everybody was surprised about how how they could not imagine how it is possible for God to anoint somebody with the Holy Spirit with power for him to go about to do good. But the Bible said that when the day of Pentecost has fully come, they were together as we are together. And the Holy Ghost came upon them because all of them were expecting and waiting for something. I want you have to be expectant. Expectation is actually the mother of manifestation. I want you all to be expectant, be open, be willing, and ask the Lord to bless you tonight. Ask the Lord to bless you. Talk to the Lord in your heart. I don't know that which troubles you. I don't know what. I don't know what worries you. But I want you to open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Ask the Lord to bless you. Abenal sabrate babelana bafana baratula tababala bashka brata babula tana. Father, we take opportunity of the privilege of this day. We demand for your blessings upon us, O God. Rabba Bella Nababaska Blata Babula Tababula 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 T
Raba bela na bas kabrata babu la tana babas kabrata babu la taya. Eka bana bas kabrata baba la tana baya. Eziba bela na bakwanda baya da baba la tana banda bas kabrata baba la tota. Eka bana baba la tana babas kabrata babu la tala boya. In Jesus' name we pray. Lastly, can we just pray for Apostle? Today is his birthday. I don't know. All of you, you can stretch for your. I don't care if you are ten years old or one year old. Amen. Praise God. Have you been blessed? Amen. Can I have the cake? Who is there? Let's have the cake so that we can. He has. Uh, you know, I. He did Bosco with him. I did not do Bosco. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Matter of now for both guys. This second is we sit on the floor. Okay, so but we met together at AD. You did remedial. Yes, sir. We did, uh-huh. <laughs> we did remedial. We did uh, SBRS. You know, SBRS is a place where you go when you cannot pass wire. You understand me now? So if you have not written wire, pass wire. So all of us met at remedial 2009, ba? 2009 to 10. 2009 to 10. So from SBRS. We now got admission to the main campus. When we entered the main campus, I mean, then we were normal guys. You know, we were still scale, all those guys that did party. I was like part of them. I was still drinking and smoking. You know, so until oh, we went there, there were people like Joshua Salman, Reverend Tende. I think Tende was a lecturer there yes, sir. in Faculty of Medicine. So that was how I get connected. We get connected. We started with Joshua Salman. He was still a student there, I think, something like that. He yes, just uh, graduated. But then that was when they started this called ENI. So we joined them, we were together then, sitting on the floor. Yeah, you guys didn't have chair. We sat on the ground, sat on the floor, no mat. We we'll sit like this on the floor. You see? Because we love the word of God. So that was how from then time came. Ten day to began uh, Father's Delight. He was instrumental in the build of Father's Delight. This is one of the strong men Ten day had, you know. So he was faithful in service until he has, he has been a minister in father up to today. He's still he's still his father, I think. So, so sincerely speaking, is is an approved uh, grace, and I I believe that it's a gift. Anytime God sends, when God wants to change the place, He sends men as gift. Okay. So I believe in the grace of God upon His life, and I assure you, I have been a partaker of it. He's a man of balanced words, sound that you really really enjoy. So well, um, I think uh, now is the time. Uh, if you are here, I don't know. I'm one of the ministers. Um, can we just come so that we just pray for him? And everybody, you are going to stretch out your hand towards him. I'm going to pray for him. Okay, we really going to pray for him right now. Uh, okay. Can we just stretch out our hands towards him? Please? You that are there, please, I beg you. All of you are anointed. There are so many of you here. You are so anointed. Stretch forth your hand towards him and pray. Pray what you wish for yourself for him. We are going to do it over his life one by one. Can we establish connection? Everybody should make sure you are touching. you are a carrier of rain. <laughs> you bring it down when you want. <laughs> Amen. The blessing is upon you. Is upon you. Amen. You touch them and they prosper. Amen. You touch them and they bring forth. Amen. You touch them and they bow. Amen. So then they know their God to do it.
If you are the one, call me to impart, Father. I speak loud in his lap in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Whatever he enter, he can bring the glory of God down in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. I see, I see the, I see the mantle. I see, I see mantle of healing, mantle of prophecy. I see mantle of word of wisdom, and I see God releasing the word of sorrow. If I call by God, let it come upon you like a wind. Jika pando di bagado skele parada imazeka tubla imalado shaka takata. Lord said to me before end of this year, men will be surprised. I need you where you enter. Good new manifesting. He said anyone that make anyone that connect with you will prosper. Anyone that call up, call upon the name of the God you are serving will prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. So like an arrow in the quiver of the mighty, so shall you rise. I pray that may the Lord God send forth rain in the times of the latter rain for you. I pray may the Lord God make full proof of your ministry and ministration in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you will not see a need to cause the day you are born like Job. We decree that the day you are born be blessed in the name of Jesus. I ask, O oh God, that upon you a fresh oil, a fresh anointing rest in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you will sharpen his discernment, quicken his ability, strengthen him from the inner man, and cause him to prosper in the name of Jesus. We decree the establishment of the Lord upon your life, and we pray that may the heavens hearken unto your voice, when your name be registered in the volumes of the books in heaven, so that you will be answered when you call in the name of Jesus. We open upon you the atmosphere upon this region, and we demand that the watchers, the gatekeepers, the princes of this region, hearken unto your voice in the name of Jesus. Give authority unto the marching orders of the host of heaven. May they hearken unto your voice in the name of Jesus. We open this place and as, a, as an apostolic and a prophetic home. We are a teaching priest. We administer wisdom and counsel in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh God, that from here a light bonnet in the name of Jesus. I pray that may the lampstand within this place begin to bear illumination so that your witnesses will be recognized in the name of Jesus. I open this place as a place of convergence. I open this place as a place of heritage in the name of Jesus. Many will step here and they will be blessed in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, that may here be a place of shelter, a place of love, a place of covenant. Let here be like the cave of Adulam, that men that are weak, downbroken, downtrodden will come and they will find strength in the name of Jesus. From here, mighty men shall be raised in the name of Jesus. And we pray unto you that may you go through the veil, pass through the limitation, break through the oppression in the name of Jesus. Challenge the challenge. May the Lord God wisdom break through for you in the name of Jesus. We pray that from today, new opportunities new design patterns of administration rest upon you i pray oh god that divine partnership divine relationship will be initiated in the name of jesus we pray upon you the blessings of the firstborn son he that has the heritage to fulfill the mandate of the lord rest upon you in the name of jesus the lord give you all trans beyond measure the unction of the lord be steadfast upon you to fulfill in the name of jesus your calling is steadfast your your your, your ordination in the lord may it prosper in the name of jesus thank you lord jesus Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. It is well. I know uh, how do we 